If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is showing you guys the fastest way to level up your competitive pass. Also, if you guys can, please drop a like on the video. What that does is it helps get this video out to other people who also like this information. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, that notification bell right next to it to get notified each and every time I upload a video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Also, right, keep in mind, I got like a few packs I'm gonna open up towards the end. And uh, nothing really major, but just from completing like the competitive pass seasons and like um, Gridiron Guardian. So I think it's like one or two. So just stay tuned for that. But you see right here, I already been getting it started. I actually been grinding out mud champs. But before I go to the mud champs, let me go ahead and show you guys what to do first, right? So when it comes to the competitive pass, the first thing you're gonna want to do is complete these sets. And the only reason I haven't did them yet is because I like waiting until I do this video. So I can show you guys what it does when you complete them, get the competitive points. And I'm really hoping that 0.1% chance that it will max out my competitive pass because there is a glitch and at times it will do that. So it hasn't happened yet to me, but you know, if I could record it and get it done, that'll actually be a, um, pretty cool. Well, we'll see what happens. So nope, I only got the 10 competitive points, which is good. You're automatically gonna get 10 competitive points just for completing that objective. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and back out and then we're gonna go ahead and complete the other one, which is the 82 to 83 overall elite exchange sets. And what I like about this, it takes me straight to it. Instead of me having to find and maneuver my way around, it takes me straight to it. So I go ahead and just get it done. 380, that's why I always keep my 80 overalls, 81 overalls and stuff like that because it helps me uh, be able to do those sets without having to go have um, buy them. So look, I got a midfield pack too. I'm going to open up in a minute. So stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and back out. So you can see what right there, it didn't glitch on me or anything like that, which I was hoping. But some people, you know, they're fortunate it does glitch on them. But, you know, off the top, you're going to be able to get 20 competitive points. And then after you complete this, what you're going to want to do next is go to your stats. Right, someone I know some some people will be like, you know, I know this stuff already. I know this. I know that's fine. If if you know that, and you want to support the channel, just tune in. You know, watch the video, whatever. But believe it or not, there's people they've been getting at me and saying, how do I max out my competitive pass? So best believe, I know my first year of playing Madden, actually first couple years, but my first year definitely, it was confusing. There was stuff I was forgetting all the time, stuff I didn't even know till later on, and I'm still finding out <laughs> little little little. I mean, uh. Not all the time, but I will find out new things here and there. So keep that in mind. So just for those for those uh, people, you know, that tune in, I want to help them out also. So I do this every week, like at least uh, three times within two weeks uh, to the competitive pass over all time. Always as a reminder, right? Because I know I forget too. But anyways, go ahead, go ahead and check this out. It says attempt 22 point conversions in Mud Champ solo battles or season games, rush for 750 yards, record 225 team tackles, pass for 2,000 yards, pass for 30 touchdowns. Here's the thing, right? You guys seen I already got a few stats uh, completed, not objectives, but stats on here. Uh, I usually do all these in solo battles. That's why I always encourage people go to solo battles, start scoring touchdowns, get your team tackles, your rushing yards, your two point conversions. You, you should be able to get that done within the first four to five games. It's that easy. I felt like playing Mud Champs today. That's the reason why some of these objectives are already complete. But I do, just so you guys know, I don't play Mud Champs to complete these objectives. If they happen to be completed during Mud Champs, that's cool. But I get them done in solo battles. That's my main thing because it's the easiest. And I usually get them done within the first four or five games. I already played a few Mud Champs games. And you guys already seen. I still haven't completed the objective, but I have completed a few st uh, stats. So it does make it a lot easier. So make the, make sure you uh, get these done. I always encourage solo battles, but you could do it in Mud Champs as well, season games. And then after that, I always tell you guys, go to solo battles. It's the easiest thing, but check these two out over here. Four, six fumbles in solo battles, gain 3,000 yards in solo battle games. So these are these two right here, objectives are specifically for solo battles. So you have to get them in so done in solo battles. It don't matter the difficulty, but it has to be done in solo battles. And then I always tell you, 
at least play on MVP or higher because if you play on MVP or higher, that's the highest you could complete these objectives on and it makes it easier because as you're completing these MVP uh, P stats, you're also completing the veteran stats. You're completing a lot of other stats as you're doing MVP. But if MP MVP seems a little hard for you, um, cause I know for some people, especially when you're just starting out and you really don't know how to play the game as good, then do it on veteran. You'll be guaranteed to win it. It's easy, it's on arcade. You'll get tons of fumbles and everything else. Another thing, with me on MVP, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's not easy for me to get fumbles on MVP. So when it comes to these completely six fumbles, I, I go, I play at least one game on veteran. I get all my fumbles out the way and then I go and play everything else on MVP. That's the honest truth. I ain't trying to sit there and, and force it every single time. It's, it's for some of you guys, you guys say that it's a little bit easier for you to guys to actually create fumbles on MVP or even legend. But me, it's not that easy. So if you guys have a method or remedy on those, let me know. But in the end, I don't care about, I'll play one game veteran. It's easy for me and I'll get all my fumbles on there and make it a whole lot easier for me. So after I get my solo battles done for the day, which is usually four or five, I go to Mud Champs. As you guys can tell right here, I, <clears throat> I've been grinded out and I know some of you guys are gonna be like, well, I thought you said you start on solo battles. Well, I usually do, but here's the thing. The only reason I didn't, I, I think these last couple weeks, right, is because I actually was feeling like, you know what, let me go ahead and play some Mud Champs. I was feeling it, so that's why I started playing Mud Champs. If I'm not feeling it, I go straight to solo battles, get those knocked out, get my objectives knocked out, and then I'll go to Mud Champs if I'm feeling it, feeling it a little bit later, but if I'm not, I'll go to Seasons because keep in mind, you can only play 25 games each week. After your 25 games are completed, whether you win or lose, it's over with, right? So make sure you're, you're at least in the mode to play so, uh, Mud Champs even if you lose games here and there, but if you're in the mode, I'm telling you right now, you'll win more games than you lose, or even half your games. But besides that, if you're not feeling, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna be like me when I usually do and just quit out like, ah, uh, I'll be up two touchdowns. Guy scores a touchdown, but like, you know what? I'm out. Just because um, just because he, he angered me on a dumb play. So if I'm not feeling it, that's why I don't play it when I'm not feeling it because I'll quit out for the dumbest reasons. And I'll encourage you guys to do the same. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. So that's one thing I let you guys know. And then after that, go ahead and dip and dabble in the head to head seasons or squads and then get you guys some competitive points with there. But the most competitive points you're gonna be able to get is from these Mud Champ games, just to let you guys know. That's why I was able to start off with and uh, make it happen. Now let's go ahead, I got a few packs I'm open up, see what we pull. Um, that's how I make my coins also. So I got a Pro Game Day pack, 88 plus. These 81 A2s, are not, uh, that's just what it is, I complete those sets. So we'll start off with the Pro Game Day pack. So we got an Elite to start off with, nothing major, we'll just hold on to that, probably nothing. Well it's actually, I didn't think that would be nothing, that's an 86. Okay, so we'll sell, well, I mean we'll quick sell that. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the 83, the 85, the 85, and 86. That's right, we have 5,500 training. That's cool, keep the rest. Then we're gonna go ahead and go over here, midfield pack, and then we'll do the 88 plus gridiron, gridiron player. Let me know if you guys pull anything glitchy lately, especially when it, look at it, when it comes to the free stuff. I'm go, This guy ain't really going for that much, so I'm gonna go ahead and quick sell him and Michael Parsons. Give me 6,000 training, add that up to the stack, and then we got this 88 plus. I'm really hoping I pull, I don't think I, I, I think since I opened this 88 plus, I, oh, I only pulled 88s. I don't remember pulling anything glitchy. Oh, hey, look at, right when I said that, I pulled a, I pulled a 91. Right when I said it, it's always just in time. Ah, 40K, let me go get that, I'm, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that, but we're gonna go ahead and sell it for 39. I'd rather have the coins. I do have enough training, so when it's like 39K and up or 25K and up, I probably will sell it usually. But if it's like 10, 15K, I'll, I'll quick sell it for some training. Just like that, go ahead and get my coins. I got enough training, I'm not tripping, get my coins and get my training at the same time. So, you know, it's cool for me. I think I already sold it, right, yeah? Yeah, I already sold it that fast. People are on it because, you know, I always, I always try to do deals. I don't try to get, like, oversell my stuff. I try to, you know, be reasonable, hook someone up, especially if I get it for free, you know, nothing really big. So anyways, there it is there. Please drop a like on the video. Until next time, I'm out.